This is the best offense in Madden 23. See ya! It has unstoppable glitch routes. What? That's just too easy! One play touchdowns for every defense. Break yourself, fool! And so many run and pass plays, you can run this offense the entire game. So if you want to see what I'm using to get results like this, Break yourself, fool! Drop bombs. Stick around after the intro. The here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. If you've been following my channel all year, you know that since the start of Madden 23, I've pretty much been using, making videos, and adding new plays to my Gunstack Y Flex offense out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. It is an offense that I've been running for several Maddens, but since this year's meta is Man and Man Zero Blitz, this formation really has become one of the best offenses to use to counter that type of defense, as it has so many different plays that quickly beat man coverage. While I've made a ton of gameplays featuring this scheme, I've never made one video breaking down this entire offense. So today I'm going to show you guys every run play, glitch route, and one play touchdown from this offense all in one video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. But if you want to see more right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can download them instantly to your phone or computer and have them sent to the email of your choice. The first two plays that I'm going to go over are the only run play you need in the inside zone and a short passing play in the drive H wheel that you can really treat like an outside run play. These two plays are easily my most used, they are the most consistent, and they really set up the entire offense. You should keep both of these plays in your audibles at all times as they are the first two plays I'm looking to use every time I come to the line of scrimmage. Because of the stack wide receivers and the spread of this formation, a lot of times the second level defenders will be pulled off to the sides out of the run lanes and be in front of receivers pre-snap, creating obvious running opportunities up the middle. So if you see this, you should always take the inside run until your opponent reacts and adjusts. As far as what to look for when it comes to choosing the inside zone, you really just want to do a box count. You have five blockers, so if you can count five defenders inside the box on any given and play that is an ideal opportunity to run the inside zone if your opponent has six box defenders the next read is the second level of the defenders which is typically your linebackers or sub package safeties if they have one or less you still have an advantage as the line will prioritize blocking defenders needed to get you to the second level which typically can result in big runs you can also motion in the tight end to give yourself a six blocker in the box which i typically only do in critical situations like third and short fourth and short goal line and two-point conversions the drive age wheel has several different applications but the wheel route is the most important as it really beats any defense wheel routes will get open under any zone coverage as the routes the receivers are running usually pull back the zones but this route also beats any man coverage as long as you throw it immediately after the snap this is because they are either in a man zero blitz and the user was supposed to cover it or the safety and coverage started to play too far away or the linebacker is too far away at the start of the play or too slow to catch up. Either way, this route always gets open and it will drive your opponent crazy to the point that they will eventually devote all of their attention and usually too many resources to try to stop it, setting up every other play on the field. One really good adjustment you can make is if your opponent starts to use this route, especially in a man coverage, put the X route on a slant, as this will leave the middle of the field wide open. The tight end on the in route and the drag route from the receiver are also good checkdowns against any defense, but the stack wide receiver set on the other side of the field can beat any zone coverage simply by putting the X route on a streak or a fade. This will pull back any deep zone the cornerback or safety is in, letting the corner route get open for a very big play that can even be a one-play touchdown against cover two. The corner strike play has the exact same concept as streaking the X route once again get the corner route open against any zone, but I find this route also beats man coverage more consistently as well, making this a better option if you plan to use this concept. A similar play to the drive age wheel that has more man beating options is the Y sale. The running back will only beat zone coverage this time, but the tight end above him can beat any man or zone coverage, and the zig route on the other side is also a very quick man beater as well. The halfback slip screen is almost the exact same play, and while the screen is the first choice on this play, both the zig and the out route from the tight end will get open fast enough that you can throw to either of them using the screen as a diversion for the user. 
This play is one of my favorite to use against heavy blitzers and is also a good red zone option as it usually catches people by surprise. The last man beating play that I'm going to show you before getting to the one play touchdown is the sail and pivot as pretty much every route here beats man coverage instantly. I recommend starting this play by looking at the tight end as it usually gets a very big catch and run. Once your opponent starts to key in on this route and use it, the next route that gets open instantly is the Y route who is running a zig route as well. If your opponent is using someone in the middle of the field, this route will be wide open as both of these routes have to be usered or your opponent will have to leave man coverage altogether. Next up, I'm going to be going over the one play touchdowns and I'm going to start off by continuing with man beating one play touchdowns before we get to the plays that beat zone. The first two I'm going to go over is the Z spot and the curl combo. These plays both beat man coverage, but they do it in very different ways. The Z spot takes no adjustments, but it only works if your opponent doesn't press, while the curl combo only works when your opponent presses the defense. So you will have to keep them both in your audibles and decide which one to use based off of your opponent's defensive adjustments. For the Z spot if your opponent is in cover one or man zero as long as the defensive backs are not in a press look the y route can be an instant one play touchdown if you throw the ball at the right time if you watch the route the cornerback jumps outside because the computer knows based on the programming that the route is going to end outside but we're going to throw it early and use that against itself so when the corner jumps outside, all you have to do is time the pass, bullet, and pass lead inside, and you will have a very easy instant catch and run one play touchdown from anywhere on the field, as long as you can time it right. Throwing too early or too late can result in an incomplete pass or even an interception, so make sure to lab this in a practice mode to get the timing down before taking this into a live game. The curl combo also works against man cover one, man zero, and even cover three, as long as your opponent is pressing the cornerbacks. Just make sure to watch that your opponent is actually in a press look and not just a pinch defense adjustment, which looks very similar pre-snap. All you have to do once again is put the X route on a streak or a fade, and one of two things will typically happen. Either the cornerback will get caught jamming the wrong receiver, leaving his assignment streaking downfield uncovered, or the curl route will bump the cornerback off their assignment, both of which will result in an instant open receiver running down the field for a one play touchdown. So just make sure to put your fastest receiver at this spot. Next up, I will go over some one play touchdowns against zone coverage, starting with a play that beats both cover two man and cover two zone, and that play is the PA read. This is another play where all you have to do is streak or fade the Y route and the X route will split the safeties for an easy one play touchdown against cover two, whether in man or zone. As the comeback route tends to pull the safety down on his side of the field, allowing this receiver to get over the top. The next play is a new play that I recently put out that can beat cover two as well, but is really best kept for cover three and cover four zone. And that play is the fade out. If you streak the X route, the Y route can get open outside of the cover two zone, but if you put him on a comeback route, he can get open outside and above the cornerback of the cover three and four defenses that are in deep zone coverage. As the comeback route makes him hesitate just enough that if you time it right, you can bullet and pass lead up and away over the top. This is another very timing specific route that you will once again want to lab in practice mode before taking it into a game. And you'll also want to make sure that you have your fastest receiver in this spot to maximize its success, as well as running it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button in the comment section. I will have some live gameplay of me using this offense that absolutely destroys my opponents popping up on screen right now. So if you want to see more helpful tips about this offense, just click the links on the screen and I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.